You may have heard of the legend of Scylla and Charybdis. What does it mean? Why is it associated with Sicily? And what modern expressions has it influenced? Scylla and Charybdis were mythical sea-bound perils and they were referenced by Homer amongst others. Based on Greek mythology, they could be found on the Straits of Messina between Sicily and the toe of Italy. Scylla was a six-headed sea monster on the Calabrian coast, whereas Charybdis was a whirlpool off the coast of Sicily. The risk of Scylla and Charybdis, the Straits of Messina, encountering one or both of them. Both posed a significant risk to any passing mariners, as avoiding one may well involve an encounter with the other. The expression of choosing between Scylla and Charybdis is to choose the lesser of two evils. For example, between a rock and a hard place, catch 22, or also is used the expression Hobson's choice. So who are Scylla and Charybdis? Well, Scylla was a beautiful nymph who was sought after either by Poseidon or Glaucus, depending on the story you read. In one story, Scylla spurned the advances of Glaucus, who was then the beloved of Circe. Jealousy struck as Amphitrite or Circe, depending on the story, poisoned the water where Scylla bathed and this caused her to turn into a terrible six-headed monster. Charybdis was caught up in a feud between her father Poseidon and her uncle Zeus. An enraged Zeus captured Charybdis and chained her to the seabed. He then cursed her, the result of which caused the whirlpools in the sea. Homer wrote that Odysseus was warned of the risks of passing through the dreaded Straits of Messina. Odysseus reasoned he chose to pass close to Scylla, the six-headed monster, as in this way he may lose some sailors but may survive, whereas if he passed on the side of Charybdis, he risked losing his entire ship to the whirlpool. Well, he did pass by Scylla, and Scylla indeed attacked the ship of Odysseus, and snatched six of his crew. Scylla and Charybdis are frequently referred to in art and literature. Erasmus reference to this in Adagio. Victor Hugo in his novel Les Mis. John Keats retold the story in Endymion. Scylla and Glaucus is an opera composed by Jean-Marie Leclerc. Scylla has inspired numerous works of art, including Peter Paul Rubens, Eglon van der Neer, John Meloish Strudwick, John William Waterhouse and Turner. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and maybe subscribe to the channel. That way you can enjoy more of this content. Thank you. Click here for some more videos you may be interested in.